welcome back to my channel. I've done a tutorial for you today on the look that I'm currently wearing, which is a Valentine's Day makeup look. For me, this is like perfect for Valentine's Day. It's a little bit soft and sultry. It's pink, it's gold. Um, it's super feminine, which is, I think, just nice for Valentine's Day. It's also a little bit dramatic, a bit darker. So, you know, you might catch somebody's eye. But I'm going to keep the intro short because we've got Valentine's Day to get to and you're going to want to know how to do this look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I'll see you in my next video. And happy Valentine's Day! Okay! I waited all week to film this video. I'm going to do something really fun with my eyes today. I know the whole Valentine's Day look this year is like super pink and feminine and light and fluffy and stuff, but I'm going to do something different. So the eyebrows are on and we're ready to go. I'm going to continue to do my eyes first. Um, so to prime my lids today, I'm going to use my Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC, which is a super cute, soft pink, like creamy thing that I just love to apply all over my lids and I just like to use my finger as well because it can be a bit like pasty and thick if you use a brush which I used to use and I just feel like actually if you use a finger the warmth from your finger just makes it more melted into the old skin. It just glides on much better. So just putting this all over the lid. I'm going to do something a bit different today with um, the way that I do my makeup. So I'm actually going to do my highlighting now because I just want to be able to like see where I'm going to highlight before I actually go in and do my eye makeup. First of all, I'm going to use the Silver Munchkin. I'm literally loving this. I got it in December. I got it for Christmas actually. And um, it's a high brow by Benefit. And it is amazing. It's so easy to use. It's just this little pencil thing. And it just like highlights this whole area so well. I literally love this. So I'm going to blend that out a tiny, tiny bit with this um, really small, no, this really small, a synthetic hair brush, and this is the JH42. And if you don't know, JH is the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe brush collection, which I really love. But yeah, I'm going to use this brush to blend that out, and then I'm going to go over the top with a little bit of this MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla, just to really like, just mainly in that bit there, where the actual like highest point of your brow is just to accentuate and really highlight it. For me, like, I love doing my makeup, as you can probably tell, but what keeps it, like, super fun for me is, like, finding new products and new techniques to use and each time do my makeup a little bit differently. Otherwise, I feel like it can get a bit boring and a bit samey. So I get really excited when I come across a new technique or a new product that I love, <laughs> as you can probably tell. And right now, I am definitely loving this way of highlighting my brow bone. But I do genuinely feel that it makes so much difference to your entire face if you just spend a bit more time doing your brows. So now we're just using what's in the lid basically for the MAC pigment, just a tiny tiny bit, literally like on my brow, like the highest point like of the arch, which is just going to help that um, section just really catch the light and just give the brow a much more lifted effect and I feel like actually it's nicer to just put it in one spot rather than put it the whole way along because first of all it adds a little bit of like extra va va voom to like your actual arch of your eyebrow which is like amazing and second of all it's just a little something something it's not too much Next I'm going to go in with a really big fluffy brush. The one I'm going to use is my MAC 224 and I just want to lay a really natural like soft colour down first of all before I get really into the whole eye look. The one I'm going to use is one that I actually haven't used for ages but I used to love and it's this one by MAC and it's called... I think it's Wedge. I knew it, it's Wedge. So it's just this little like really really soft brown colour and more than anything else just to give like a powdery finish as well to the eye. And as usual, I'm going to bring this colour right out here as well. Bring all my colours out that far because I think that it really accentuates the whole eye look. It makes your eyes look a lot wider. It 
main palette I'm going to use today is also a palette I haven't used in ages, which is the Morphe 3502 palette. So it's this big guy, and unfortunately when I just opened it I realised I've smashed up the black eyeshadow, which is kind of annoying, because it was a really good black, and I don't actually think I have another black eyeshadow at this point, so that is quite annoying. But I have all of these other colours to play with, so I don't really mind. I think the main colours I'm going to go with today, I really like this, it's got a bit of black in it, but I really like this colour up here, and it's called Bronzy. And I also really like that colour over there called Pure. So I feel like I may go for like two of those. I'm going to start off with like, oh man, I've got black all over my hands now from the shadow that I broke. I'm going to start off with like warm browns, these kind of tones. First of all though, I am going to go in with this shade, which is universal, just in my crease section, just a little bit. Not because I want like a super orangey brown base, but just because I want a base, you know. And I'm going to start off on, on the same fluffy brush, just using a really light hand and doing small circular motions right out here. But a very, very, very light hand. I'm kind of hardly touching my eye. And then I'm blending whatever's left on the brush across in windshield motions. So I'm going to go straight over the top of that and using the exact same motions with this colour. Um, and it's called Risky. Next I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the colour Chestnut, which is slightly darker tone to the one I just used. And I'm also going to swap to a slightly smaller brush, and this is the JH33. Like these ones down here, they look very interesting. So I'm going to go in with Chestnut. And basically with this colour doing the exact same thing, but keeping it um, a little bit lower now. So not actually going any higher than the crease. Mm, this colour is amazing. I'm just going to go in with the fluffy brush and the colour that I used, first of all, at the very edges to make sure that we haven't lost any of that um, colour. I'm going to use this colour bronzy, which is this shimmer in the top, in the top right. Um, so I'm going to use this on my lid and I think I'm going to use this colour here under my, my lower line. Lower line? on my lower lash line because I'm really drawn to it right now. So I'm just going to use my finger to apply that shimmer, Risky. Um, sorry, it's called Bronzy. Just because I genuinely feel like you get most out of sh um, shimmers if you actually just use your finger. Hmm, I really like um, how this eye makeup look is actually going so far. Just going back to that other brush, just going to make sure it's fully blended. Yeah, I don't know why, but I really want to use this teal colour on the lower lash line, so I'm just going to go with it. I don't know why, but I actually really like that. <laughs> I'm not going to bring this dark colour all the way along the lower lash line. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit on the top as well, because I think it would just really um, tie the whole eye look together. So I'm going to use this definer brush. Um, this is the JH43, and I'm just wiping it because I literally have this black eyeshadow that I lost um, everywhere. So I'm just stamping that 
um, in the shadow and then I'm just going to apply it uh, very close to the lash line up here. And this is just firstly going to tie the eye look um, together but it's also just going to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And I'm not going to use um, a liquid eyeliner today so I do want something to um, just define this eye look a bit. And I'm only going to go to about um, the centre of the pupil as well, I'm not going to go all the way along with this eyeliner. And then when I've put it all down, I've just, um, with the brush, just flicked it out a tiny bit at the end. I haven't ever used this eyeshadow colour before from this palette, but I actually really like it. It's like a really soft, what's it called? It's called Muddy, and I guess that is like actually the colour. It's like kind of soft. The reason why I liked it is because it looks a little bit teal, and it's obviously not black so it's just a little bit different as well which isn't fun so I'm really into like a soft um <laughs> I just can't speak I'm really into at the minute a soft um eyeliner on the top so not like a harsh black liquid eyeliner but something a bit softer it just looks a bit more subtle a bit more natural so I'm just kind of blending it a bit more in the middle there I'm just gonna actually darken up this side a tiny bit Okay, so um, that's my eyes done, at least for now. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to come back and re-highlight the brow bone and the inner corner. I'm going to stick my false lashes on. The ones I'm going to use... I actually feel like that. I'm just going to clean up this side, okay? Actually, I'm going to wear my less natural but not Lily Lash ones because I just found these and they look really nice. So these are these ones. I know. That's the packet. Um, I just picked them up from Boots, they're not like, you know, an expensive pair. So I'm gonna stick these on. I've already, I've worn them before, so I've already trimmed them, but like when I buy lashes, I do have to trim them a bit because they come really long. I feel like these are a bit, I don't really like them to be honest. Nope. They just look stupid, they don't look natural, and like, I'm trying to look a bit natural, it only looks like, Completely fake, not really my vibe. Okay, I'm gonna swap to these much more natural looking lashes. I'm definitely all about a long, full, volumized lash, but for me, it has to look a bit natural. I don't wanna look tacky. And also for me, a good test to see if they are like nice and natural looking is just how easy they, they go on. Like these ones, they stick straight away because they're not too like heavy, which means they're gonna be more natural looking. Next I'm gonna apply some mascara. The one I literally love at the moment is this one by Benefit. It's called Bad Girl Bang. And literally they make your lashes so long and volumized. So I really like this one. I'm just gonna apply some black eyeliner to the lower lash line, just um, about halfway along, just to darken it up a little bit. Um, I don't know, actually, it's called Miss Rose, but it's a super cheap one. That's it for the eyes, for now at least. So now I'm gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna use my um, favorite um, foundation brush, which is by Sigma, and it's the Flat Kabuki F80 to blend out my foundation. And the foundation I'm going to use is my NARS um, and it's in the shade Mont Blanc. So as usual, I tend to just apply a few pumps to the back of my hand like this. And then I apply it to my face and rub it in. So I know I look super pasty right now, but I am going to bronze up very soon. Next I'm going to go in with my concealer. The concealer I'm using is um, it's my NARS and it's in the shade Light 2 or Vanilla. So I'm going to put this underneath my eyes, on this forehead section and around my nose. And to blend it in I'm going to use a beauty sponge and I'm going to make it damp 
Um, just to tap, so I'm just going to literally dip it into water and then tap off on a paper towel. Just so it doesn't actually leave too much of the concealer on my face and it will help to absorb it. And it just, I don't know, it somehow makes it look amazing. So... Oh, and also on the bridge of my nose, just to actually bring some lightness to there and around the edges of my nose there and a little bit on my chin as well. And before I go in and blend it in, I'm also going to get my powder ready. So the one I like to use is my Loose Setting Translucent Powder by Laura Messier. So before I take the lid off fully, I just kind of shake it upside down just to um, get some of the powder in the lid and that's what I'm going to use but first of all with my damp sponge I'm going to blend out my concealer And then just going in and setting that concealer straight away with the powder. And this powder is great because not only does it leave your concealer there for ages, but it also just brightens up the whole area. So I really, really like using it. Next is finally time to bronze up my face. I'm going to use my favourite bronzer at the moment. And can you tell the packaging is so cute as well? So this is the Film Start Bronze and Glow. I always say it's from Star Bronzer Go. From Star Bronze and Glow. Um, so you've got the bronzer and the highlighter, which I also love as well. And this is by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush to apply this. So I'm going to put it in the hollows of my cheeks and on my forehead as well. I'm then going to use it to very lightly give my nose some warmth. Um, I'm also going to put this on my jawline as well. Okay. And also when I'm applying it back here, I'm also just putting a bit on my ear as well, just to um, make it look more natural. So it does help to suck your cheek in a bit, just to really get it in the hollow there. So I'm just applying this in like small circular motions to make sure I don't have like a harsh straight line there and make sure it kind of goes on quite evenly on my forehead as well really really into the hairline so again it just looks as natural as possible and but really just at the top of the forehead and then along the sides as well I have to just brush through my eyebrows afterwards because I'm being a little bit flippant with this big fluffy brush. And just make sure it's all fully blended in. As I said, I'm going to add a tiny bit of that bronzer to um, the bridge of my nose just here. More than anything else. Um, just to actually bring some warmth to my nose because I feel like once I've bronzed out my face my nose can be this big blank white thing in the middle of my face so it's not like I'm trying to make my nose look different it's just to add some warmth but I am going to do it in a contouring way because <laughs> so I'm literally just going to go in the same bronzer straight down There and then on the other side as well. Just really, really lightly with a tiny amount. Just to bring some warmth. While I'm here, I'm just going to put a tiny bit underneath my lip. because that is going to make your lip look a bit bigger without actually having to go and get the lip filler. So that just adds a bit of shadow to it. So next I'm going to go and highlight using the same palette. So I'm going to use that one there. And I literally love, 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 love this highlighter because it's so natural and so soft and subtle. It's not like a, like a silvery beam. It's like a really soft, it's just a great 
straight highlighter. But the brush I'm going to use is again by Sigma um, and it's the Tapered Highlighter F35. And because it is very natural I'm not going to be too um, particular about where I put it. Um, so I'm going to put it first of all on my cheekbones. But again with highlighter I do actually think like less is more. And um, that if you put loads of highlighter down, it just looks a bit fake and it doesn't look natural. If you see what I mean, rather than I've just put a, a load of highlighter there. So for me, I do actually think like if you just put a little tiny bit on the bit of your face that pokes out the most, it will actually look quite natural. But you'll still be able to see it. And I like to just put, again, a little bit above just the centre of the eyebrow, again just to kind of accentuate the arch and also just down the bridge of my nose and a touch on the end of the nose as well. I'm also just going to come back and clean up my bronzer a touch because it can also make your face look a little bit thinner. So I'm going to use the straighter edged bit of my sponge and I'm going to go straight back into the same um, loose powder that I used to set my concealer and I'm just going to draw a straight line from my ear inwards and that is just going to give the effect of um, like cheekbones as well and like accentuate it a bit more so I'm going to let that set a little bit it's also just going to um, clean clean up the makeup down here as well and just have to set it as well so I'm just going to let that sit for a bit and while that's sitting there I'm going to do my blush so I'm going to use the same hi um, highlighter brush that I used to do the highlighter and the blush I'm going to use is my Dandelion Blush by Benefit. So it just looks like this. I do feel, to be honest, that um, Benefit just do really good bronzer and blush. I really like the um, bronzer as well. I wear it every day. Next I'm going to go back to this guy, which is the guy I used at the beginning to highlight my brow bone. And I'm going to use the same highlighter as well, which is my MAC Pigment in the shade Vanilla. And I'm going to highlight the inner corner just there of my eye. For lips, and I literally forgot about this lipstick, and I found it again recently. And I used to wear this every single day. This used to be my absolute go-to lipstick. I literally love it. And it's um, Velvet Teddy by MAC. To line my lips, I'm just going to use, and it's not really the right colour, but um, anyway, it's only lip liner, so it's not, it doesn't really bother me. So I'm going to use Saw by MAC, and it's a bit pinker. Actually, this lip liner goes with my Brave lipstick by MAC. It's more of like a pink than a nude, but um, I lost my Spice lip liner, which is the one that you use for Velvet Teddy, so I'm just going to use this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my Velvet Teddy. I honestly think MAC lipsticks are so, so good. Um, so I'm just going to wipe away this powder. I'm going to finish off with some MAC Fix Plus to set all of that. So there you have a finished look. I love it. I feel like this is so fun for me for Valentine's Day. It's a little bit pink and goldy, but it's still like pretty, it's still like a bit dramatic. Um, and especially when like going out in the evening, it may be like some mood lighting and I feel like soft pinks and stuff, they might not actually show up. So it's nicer to do like a little bit of a darker, more dramatic eye in the evening over dinner so that you can actually see it. But yeah, I really like the way it's turned out, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Happy Valentine's Day! See you in my next video!